All right, guys, so today we're gonna do uh, Sony Premium Sound Disable on the Fiesta ST. And uh, what you're gonna need is you can go on Amazon and get one of these uh, little foreskin OBD2 uh, connectors. This one's Elm Config, um, blah, blah, blah. It has the HS can and MS can on it. And then you have the little selector on here for which one is which, um, which I can't remember right off the top of my head. But so anyway, you might have to play around with this till you get it on the right bus so you can see what uh, screen you need to go to, but we'll walk through it. But for starters, we're gonna plug this in, fire up the laptop. So I've got it plugged in and I'm gonna turn on the ignition here, which I think I already had on. So I'm gonna turn that back on. I'm gonna hit the little connect play button here. All right, guys, so for Forescan, you go to forescan.org, go to the products page. Forescan for Windows version 2.3.41 is what we're on right now. So we're gonna get that installed because it looks like the old one's out of date. And then I bought a three year extended license. You can go to um, buy extended license, one, three, five, or lifelong. I just did a three year. I don't know how long I'm gonna have this car. You know, I'll probably just buy it again after three years, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I just did the three years, $20. I just did it with PayPal, so it's safe. Okay, so once you have your activation code, uh, they email it to you. So I copied and pasted it out of my email. When I manually typed it, it didn't work. I had to copy and paste it out of my email. But now it says that I have the extended license registered to me um, and the date that it's good till. So that's awesome. So next thing we're going to do is go to the top left here uh, where this little car is with the eye on it. And we're going to go to connect to a vehicle. Okay, so once you have your extended license going, uh, make sure the switch is in the right position. It's going to say, like, once you've connected a few times, it does this little, hey, do you want to actually do whatever? Do you want to load the old account? And you say no every time. So right now it says, do you have the switch? Yes, I do have the switch. I'm just going to say yes to both of these. Please put it in the MS can. Hit OK. So whenever it says this, would you like to save the profile? You can, but when it asks to use it, it'll only reconnect to the PCM, not... OBD2 and uh, FCIM, OCS, ABS, RCM, all that stuff. <clears throat> so I'm just going to hit no. If you want to save the profile, no. And, and I'd save it the first time you do it, just when it asks you to use the old one, say no. So then I'm going to go down to configuration and programming. Your screen will look like this. So APIM as built is what we're looking for. So that little chip looking thing on the left there, we want APIM as built. So then you go down and you hit the little play button there. Right down there, we're gonna run the service procedure. Put it in the HS can, <clears throat> hit okay. So this is basically saying if you screw it up, it's gonna suck, don't do it, run a backup so you can hit okay. So now I'm in, I can see all my modules. So you'll see the first line right here. Originally that'll be like an A, a B, uh, a two, but it won't be a zero, three, three. It'll be like A, three, three or B. There's a little, um, a little thing i'll throw a snippet in at the end here but you can go on the forums and find four scan links for the it's f-o-r-s-c-a-n i know um but you can uh, go in there and you can find this stuff but i changed that to a zero and it turns off the sony like sound i guess or like something that screws up sound with the head unit and the biggest thing i'm noticing is that it doesn't peak so hard in my ears so previously when i was playing around with the tweeters here or whenever the tweeters would go off like on a high it would really cut into my ears and that's kind of what i noticed the most and now it just sounds a lot better i'm like super impressed so before you get lost in this menu uh so you'll change that first value there that zero in front of the 330 in the first box so seven delta zero zero one zero one change that to a zero and then you hit right and then it'll ask you to restart the car basically and you'll be good to go uh, one little bonus, there's all sorts of stuff you can do in here. Um, I haven't been able to figure out the double honk on the Fiesta. I haven't got it to work, but basically you can go back up to DCTs, uh, DTCs, um, and you can see your uh, your engine codes here um, if you feel so inclined. 
So I disabled my TPMS sensors because I live in Minnesota and they go off all winter. And that's another thing you can do in here in Forescan. And if you'd like to see a video on how to do that, I'd be happy to show you. Uh, just remember anything you do in here is completely your responsibility. You're gonna mess with safety settings. Um, you can do a lot of things in here that are pretty sketchy. So don't go in there and just start playing with values and hit a one and hope and hope and then blow your airbags in your face. Um, be safe with this. Um, it probably will void your warranty because you're flashing your module. Um, I haven't heard anything bad with them updating. I don't really know, but uh, for me, this is my play car. It's already out of warranty. I don't care. So famous last words, but it's warm um, and I'm done. So if you have questions, I changed this to a GT boot screen logo. That's just a little bonus thing you can do. Let's see if I can get that to kick off here. Yeah, there you go. So when it shuts off and turns on, it's a little GT thing. Makes my friends laugh. I don't really care. Um, and then I also enabled um, controls for the, and I think there's a way to turn this to ST, but then you lose the cool background. I like the GT display. Um, so I could care less about the splash screen, but this display is from the Ford GT. And for some reason you have to run them both to get them to work. I tried doing different combinations and it wouldn't work. So I got that done. Um, yes, please, that'd be great. So yeah, so I've got this display here. I made it so that I can have HVAC controls on the screen. Not that it really matters, they're right below here, but it keeps my eyes up on the road when I'm messing around with that, so I like it. Um, and then I just disabled Sirius XM radio, which is nice to get that little tab off there to free up a spot, because I hated XM. I don't care for it at all. I'm usually driving with my phone plugged in anyway, but there's a lot you can do with Forescan. I hope this video helped, and if you got confused, feel free to ask, but start on the forums. They're very helpful. You can get a two-month free license, uh, extended license. If you don't have that extended license um, that I got for uh, three years for $20, then there's a lot you won't do. You will not be able to get into the APIM and change this, so you do need an extended license. I think you should just buy one. It's totally worth it, and after you do one thing in here, you're going to want to come back and play with it more. Uh, this is Eric. We got performance, and if you have questions, drop me a comment. And if I missed anything, feel free to let me know.